next will be download our JWell socket server and run it as a standalone server. In case that you want to, to test our demos or give a try to our JWell socket server, after you have done all of these steps before, then you should download and run the server. Normally, there is no other problem pending. So let's see uh, our website, jwebsocket.org, and we go directly to the download section where we will get the server and the client. So we will download our server first. It takes a while and we will take our client then. Yeah, let's see. So when, once the client is finished, the download will show in the folder. And we will copy this client into our web folder recently configured in Apache download there. So this is our client, the current version of the socket. We will copy this to our document folder that we have before just to test. Now we put Client here and we extract the source here. So it just finished. We can remove this folder. And we have the JWell socket client. So the next step is going to the local host. And we have the client. So these are the demos of JWebSocket. As you can see, here is a big list with the new demos that we recently created for JWebSocket 1.0. And you can see the new demos here. We have Hello World, Fundamentals, Chat, Chat Demo, Channel Demo, and many others, many others. Shared Canvas. And at the end, we have from ext.js, the query mobile, some games, in case that you are interested in making games. And the old demos is the, the previous demos that we created at the beginning, some years ago. So, now, of course this will not be working, because we don't have the server running. This is what we will do right now. We will run the server. So let's show you how to do that. We will show the folder again. And then we need to copy this folder into, let's say, this this document folder. We will create here a new folder, which will be called the website. And here we will put all the sources. We will make a new one. And this will be standalone. For example, the website server. We will copy these sources here. We extract the file. Standalone server 1.0, JWell server 1.0, and we proceed to execute the server, to run the server. We go to the bin folder. So this is this is in, in general the JWell socket home folder. You will see this in many other videos I will be explaining a little bit more about it. So in the bin folder you will find the jwebsocket server dot bat. This is a batch file from Windows which automatically as you run it, you click it, it will run the server for you. You don't need any requirements. The only thing is you have you need to have Java installed in your machine and then you run the server. Let me see one more time. So definitely when when we have this error is because 
our JWet socket home variable is not installed. It's good that we face this error together. So, what is the problem here? Our JWet socket home is not working, so it doesn't find the configuration folder. So, what we're gonna do now is we are going to export our JWet socket home variable. So, we go to Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and we create a new one which will be called JWet socket home. And here we have to put the same path from this directory. Just like that. But we shouldn't forget at the end the slash because it is required like that. So we accept. So we have the JWet socket home already created and we hit OK. OK. And we try to run the server once again. So there it is. The JWet socket home variable is already set. So JWet socket server startup complete. So what can we do now? We go on here and we update. So when we log in, it we will automatically be logged in demo. So let's just take a look in the shared cameras. <clears throat> For example, we can draw something here and it will automatically be broadcasted to all the connected clients. Let's say that we have another instance, this browser open, and we have also a shared camera demo here. Let's clear this for a second. And let's assume that we have more shared cameras. So we have many of them, right? So in each each one of them that you that we draw something it will automatically be broadcasted to all the other demos. So the same the same happened with <coughs> with in case that we want to insert an image, it will also be automatically resized in all the browser at the same time that you are using it. You can have a history of the image that you are adding or whatever and go back to history go forward and clear everything so there is no more history and something like that so <clears throat> we already have seen how we could start our JWet socket standalone server thank you for watching